director of dance here at Art Rebound Valley College. And today we're going to be talking about one of her works from our past show. And this one was a dance for film work or dance for video. I guess it wasn't on film anymore. We don't do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to call it anymore. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have film anymore. <laughs> so. Um, so Jen, first question is, what is your connection to IVC dance? Well, I'm the chair. I've been here six years. Uh, I actually taught at Saddleback for a semester before I, I came that. here. Yeah, so for Deirdre, who's there, the chair, who's yeah. lovely. Um, so yeah, I've been here six years doing my thing, been the chair for five and a half, and yeah, I'm happy to be here and making things happen at IVC Dance. And we love having her here. It's been great. Um, all right, so our question about the piece is, what was your inspiration for this dance for video work? Or dance for the camera. Dance for the camera, dance video, all the same, really. <laughs> uh, so the title of the piece was In Route, mm -hmm. which, um, so in the spring of 2021, I did a piece about falling, and it was slow motion. So I then wanted to do a piece about traveling. So it, somehow that became In Route, and I knew I wanted to film it on campus to keep things simple. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't want to have a bunch of rehearsals. Yeah. So we had two rehearsals, um, and they were just, it was about traveling. Yeah. Moving, how can we move through space? So I choreographed three phrases. I don't think anyone came to all the rehearsals. Like <laughs> some people came to such, we videotaped the three phrases. And I think we did a few extra little yeah. like fun things like leaning against a wall and that's some, you know, a few little extra yeah. things. 
Um, I posted up the videos for people to watch and learn. And then we got together over a weekend and we filmed the whole piece. Mm. So total, I think, um, rehearsal wise, we spent like three hours <laughs> and sh shooting and filming. I spent 16 hours because it was like eight hours yeah. each day, but the dancers weren't there for all yeah. of it. So they had different times that they came um, and filmed. So, and then I edited it all together over a three week period of time. So it was real just wham, bam, Let's bam. Do this. So it was all about traveling, moving, being on IBC's campus, really nothing more than that. And I found a really fun, upbeat song oh, really fun, yeah. that just kept, had a nice beat to it to be able to walk or move on. And it was just like, let's, let's dance. I love that. Sometimes yeah. it can be the simplest things. Um, so because it was a video piece, it's always um, more interesting to talk about the process of how also how you choreographed it, but also how you edited and how you got the dancers in the positions you wanted them, all that kind of fun stuff. So what was the process like for you? So I, I choreographed those three phrases and they all were traveling. And then I knew I wanted to film it from different angles and different places on campus. And then we took bits and pieces of it. And then we also did some improv. Mm. So I'd give them like some type of inspiration. Yeah. And then there was a few times like we found uh, out in the front of IBC's campus, there's these blue like Adirondack chairs. Oh yeah, the big chairs. And like yeah. we saw the big chairs and I was like, oh, we're doing a phrase on these. <laughs> so then I just came up. I kind of like adapted one of our movement yeah. phrases to work in the chairs. Yeah. Um, and then I just kind of smorgasbord my video too. Like I was like, okay, we're going to do this like six times and I'm going to film it like from here, from mm -hmm. here. I storyboarded it all ahead of time like oh, okay. with what I w thought I wanted. Yeah. But I'll tell you, as soon as I get out into the field, like I feel like I take that storyboard and just kind of like, Woo! <laughs> let's do this. So yeah. I had so much footage. Yeah. So much good footage, so much bad footage. I filmed part of it in slow motion by accident. Like, how that <laughs> even happened, I don't know. So I had so much, so much. But again, the music had this really nice, like, driving mm -hmm. beat, and I had these three phrases, and I wanted to see the phrases in their entirety. Yeah. And I knew I wanted to start with the piece zoomed in, mm. like feet or something, yeah. and then I wanted it to, like, expand into full body. Um, so I had that idea from the beginning. So I made sure I got those shots and... Kind of played with things. I we I had brought these things called roller racers that the guys had played on. We had scooters, oh, we yeah. had roller skaters. We had all this fun stuff. None of that actually, except for the very end, made it <laughs> in because there really was no correlation when I was editing it. It didn't. Yeah. It just didn't connect to the piece in the way that I was thinking yeah. it was going to. Um, but we had fun, and uh, with the editing, I, the piece was only three minutes, three twenty or something yeah. like that. I ran out. Like I had like six different versions of. It because I just kept like, oh, I want this phrase. Oh, I want this phrase. <laughs> so it was really hard to kind of narrow down mm. with everything I had. Yeah. So with film, like it's always good to get that extra footage, totally. but it's also challenging to then like decide really what yeah. is important to you. And then I also wanted to highlight all of my dancers. I think, I'm trying to remember how many dancers there were total. I want to say nine or 12. Yeah, you had a, it was a large cast. 12, yeah. And I wanted to make sure like one person wasn't just in one scene. That, yeah. I had an equal balance, and there were definitely some people that I felt like were there all the time. I gave different people different times, but some people were like, can I stay longer? Yeah. So they ended up being in more, and then some people were only in a few things. But I wanted it to feel like there, you know, like it wasn't just a single appearance that yeah. you saw them throughout. Uh, so, and then the very beginning, they were in all of it. Mm -hmm. Like a, most everyone was in the beginning and the end. There was kind of like yeah. a bigger group shot mm -hmm. so i tried to make sure i encompass, encompass yeah. that uh i used final cut pro for the editing yeah. <laughs> which is challenging uh, final cut pro has changed so much over the years i think this is like my second piece that i did since getting back into it from like 15 years ago <laughs> um and it's complicated so there was a lot of time like where i had to figure out how like yeah, how do i do, do this it. and then i also limited myself i said i had 10 hours to edit the whole thing that's a and good that's, time frame. Yeah. Like that sounds like a lot, but in editing not world, at all. not at all. Like yeah. that was nothing. So I sat down and probably think maybe three sessions mm -hmm. of like three hours yeah. and I ended up going a little mm -hmm. over on yeah. each one. Um, or maybe at the end I had like another hour where I kind of went back and just cleaned stuff up. Yeah. Uh, but I could get lost and literally do that for like 50 hours and I don't have 50 hours. So I was like, no, i these are the days Kids knocking on the door. These, yeah. These are the times I have. And when the piece is, you know, as long as it's done and completed, um, and I try not to go back. Yeah. Because I could just go back and fiddle and yeah. fiddle and fiddle and forever. Keep, keep going, yeah. yeah. So I definitely have been limiting myself. Like, you're gonna come in, you're gonna do this, and this piece really followed that formula. Good. That re these rehearsals, you got <laughs> these filming days, you got this footage, you got this, you know, time to edit it, and then 
walk That's away, it. wash your hands, and it is what it is. And then we'll so, watch it. Yeah, so I don't think this was like high art. I don't think this was probably the best dance film ever. <laughs> but we had fun. We learned a lot. The dancers got to see that process. Some of them have never done dance film. So yeah. it, it really felt concise, but it was doable. Yeah. It turned out great. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was a process. So coming back on campus post COVID, because we've had to change how we rehearse and change how we do things, you kind of had a little leeway because you were outside. So kind of talk about the challenges post COVID, but also being outside while filming. That's yeah. A whole different ball so game. both of our dance film pieces this semester we did outside That's for outside, this reason. Yeah. I was like, I do not want people in masks. I want to be able to see their faces. I want it to feel like how we felt pre-COVID. So yeah. I intentionally didn't have a lot of contact. Mm -hmm. I intentionally um, did it outside so we didn't have to wear masks. And I made sure everyone was comfortable yeah. not wearing masks outside. Um, and uh, and I tried to switch up so that we had different people, different groups, weren't spending a lot of time in close you know, proximity yeah. with each other. So it made it easy. Yeah. We even rehearsed outside. Our, we rehearsed right in front of the pack. <laughs> like we just were marching. It was funny. People were walking by like, what are these people doing? <laughs> like walking around, around with our you know, little iPod, you know, boom box and <laughs> making, it, making it happen. Like, all right, they're doing a parade. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so um, it was really, really simple in terms of that uh, with COVID. And I, I feel like it felt like COVID didn't exist in a way. Yeah. Like it was easy for us. Some dancers did wear their masks when we were rehearsing yeah. um, or in between shots because they wanted to be extra safe. And uh, there was times where we'd be like, oh, hey, uh, shoot, I shot that and you had your mask. <laughs> like, take it off, go, yeah. go hide it, you know. Um, so it was definitely a little bit of that, yeah. like, but overall I think it came out well. And what's great is it kind of makes the piece not tied to the COVID era in that if you see this, you're not going to immediately go, oh, this was filmed in like 2021 yeah. or 2020. Yeah. Uh, so I'm happy that we were able to do that. And I think filming outside with lighting also is so much easier. Yeah. I didn't have to, we felt during the day, it was beautiful lighting. I didn't have to worry about yeah color correction and all of these other things that could have really yeah, made it a lot indoors. harder. Yeah. Totally. Um, so because it was a dance for film work, talk about how the visual with costumes and you had natural lighting, which is kind of nice, but kind of how the visual pieces pull together. So your costuming to your dancers, to your specific, like your foot shots, your chair shots, all that kind of stuff. Like how did that come together for you? So costumes, I knew I just wanted them to be people. So yeah. we actually asked the dancers to just give us one or two um, photos of them. And like, we kind of gave them like some examples. So we're like, we want it to be like casual. I wanted some type of jean element. Mm -hmm. I wanted funky shoes because I knew yeah. I wanted to do something with the shoes. So I was like, any kind of funky shoes that you can dance in or something different, you know, like not just a traditional like black jazz shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking for something different like that, unique to kind of show their personalities. Um, and then some people didn't have things, so we pulled, like, that it really tied in, or, oh, yeah. I need, like, a shirt, or I need pants or something. So we pulled in different elements to make it um, work, and then we just had to take a picture of it and held on to it, and it, it kind of made it simple. So yeah. the shoes were definitely, like, a, a theme. <laughs> um, I feel like I was actually surprised at how unfunky shoes people had. Like, people didn't have any crazy shoes. I was feeling like I am a crazy person now because I have, have some shoes. crazy shoes. Yeah. And Michelle has some crazy shoes, too. Another I have some crazy here. shoes, yeah. So our dancers were definitely more conservative with their shoes. <laughs> um, okay. But that's okay. Uh, and I think the piece still worked. I think it, it ended up just feeling like, you know, like your best friend, like just yeah. really relaxed, like could be anywhere. And some people had a little bit more flavor and some people didn't. Yeah. And but it all kind of meshed and worked. Um, the colors were like blues and greens, mm -hmm. which went well outside because we had a lot of grass. Yeah. And the campus does have a lot of like blue mm -hmm. tones just with IBC colors. It's our school color. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like they it blended in well, blue sky, yeah. it, and we had some nice contrast with like concrete and cement and mm -hmm. other stuff like that. There is a ton of construction on campus, so yeah. that was a little problematic with wow. like shooting with the can making sure that we didn't have like crazy construction um and then luckily we didn't have to use the sound so there was one time where we were filming in front of the library and they were drilling it was so loud like we could barely hear the music so but i took all the sound out of yes. the video and just yeah, overlaid the music um to the beat but that was hard in the editing because then i had to make sure that the videos matched up to where the beat was yeah. in the song oh, so and and sometimes there were things cut in and out that did that wasn't always as simple as you would have thought so oh, yeah so costumes definitely for like that and the location definitely played a key um and again the music i found i had just open source stuff so we could yeah. post it and it was simple and easy yeah it was yeah. really fun it was really fun music 
Um, so that brings us to our last question. Um, let's make this a little more specific. Any advice for people who are looking to create dance for film work or dance for the camera work? Well, I, I, the big thing is we all have cell phones now. Yes, we do. Yay, we're filming use your cell phone. Right we're using it right now. <laughs> so I shot all of this on a cell phone. It looks beautiful. My, uh, I have an Apple iPhone, uh, I think it's an 11 Pro, which I'm lucky because it has the three cameras mm -hmm. and actually has a decent amount. Um, so you can most likely, if you have a phone of sorts, you can make a dance film. I'm even using as simple as Instagram, like you can yeah. you know, stop and go and edit it like in real totally, time. Yeah. And there's so many great softwares like on your phone that you can just buy for like $5. It's like editing software. Mm -hmm. Even the iPhone you can put iMovie on and yeah. it just, you have to get in, you have to play with it. It is time, editing takes time. Yes. So inside of the choreographic process, when we're normally choreographing for the proscenium, you're not setting aside that extra time. So you have to pull some out of the other part of the creative process yeah. in order to allow for that. Or if you're really lucky, you find someone who could edit it for you. Yeah. So, you know, we had Desiree do our mm -hmm. fall show and edit it all together. And she was able to take all the pieces and create kind of like a Mini new, uh, like, yeah, like a film piece yeah. from a proscenium thing. So you can use your proscenium mindset when creating film. It's just thinking about different camera angles and stuff. So my advice is take some, there's lots of little like videos online, mm -hmm. workshops on like how to film for dance. Um, but TikTok, Instagram, all great places to start. Yeah. I mean, keep a piece short, under a minute right now, Get just get yeah. content out there. And then you'll start to develop your own like tone and voice. Yeah. And then from there you can go, okay, like what is it that I really like? Yeah. Um, and again, going back, like don't judge yourself off what other people are doing or, totally. or what the rules are. You're going to hear like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. If you love that, do it. Do it. Yeah. And some people are going to really enjoy that. So totally. just trusting your gut of what is interesting to you and sharing it and you'll find your audience. I love that. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back soon. Thanks. Bye.